Welcome back to another Stardew Valley video today. Today, we're going to be covering a new item that was added in the 1.5 update known as the Auto Petter. Now, this item enables you to not really have to take care of your animals anymore, just like Pam and her daughter. But anyways, there are two different ways to go about acquiring this Auto Petter. The first way, unfortunately, you do have to sell out to Joja if you want an easier way to access them. You need to complete the Joja warehouse, have everything done, purchased all the community upgrades, then you can go to Joja and you can purchase a Auto Petter for 50,000 gold, which really isn't that bad. You can buy more than one, you can buy multiple, so if you have five, six, seven coops or barns, you can put an auto petter in all of them. Now, in order for it to work, you do have to put it inside of that barn or coop, otherwise it will not pet your animals. Now, the auto petter can also be obtained uh, additionally, you know, a few other ways. So you can get it in the Skull Cavern chest, which is a 1 in 25 chance of dropping it. Um, additionally, it can also be obtained if you kill monsters and a special item in the mines during the Danger in the Deep quest, or after activating the Shrine of Challenge. Now those are having to do with the new islands and stuff, so don't worry about that. If you're still new to the game, or perhaps you're still learning and haven't gotten forward to the spoilers. So I'm going to stop there. So now that we have the auto petter, it was 50 grand. And as you can see, after I purchased it, it was still highlightable. So we could have bought multiple. So we're going to go back to the farm and we are going to place this auto petter down. Now, once it is down, it does say that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't exactly mimic the human touch. And you should still talk to your animals to keep their heart levels up as this will give them some friendship points but not as many as I could. But I mean, if you don't really mind, you just want to have them pets that they're content and still producing eggs and stuff, no worries, that's fine. So make sure you put this thing inside and uh, I'm, I'm just gonna move it around a little, see where it looks nice, you know, see where it fits. I like to have things somewhat organized, although in this playthrough, not so much. So we have it in there. So we're gonna go to bed today and then we're gonna see what we can see when it's done. Now, traditionally, when you pet your animals, they will have a little cute red heart that appears above their heads, right? But wait until you see what the auto petter does. I much prefer the way that this looks and it reminds me of like Mario or like Super, uh, yeah, <laughs> anyway, Super Mario or Yoshi, you know, those kind of things. It just looks straight out of like a Mario thing. So let's move forward and wake up here. Day three of fall, year two, air smelling crisp. <laughs> I'm sure Pam is as well. God knows where she passed out, but I know she'll be driving that bus in four hours. Or is it two? I don't remember anymore. Maybe I've been drinking like Pam, hey? But anyways, let's move forward. Look, here's our ducks, here's our chickens. We get this cute little cloud above their heads instead of the heart, and I much prefer it. It is so much more satisfying, and it looks so cute. Maybe just because it's different and unique, kind of like blue chickens, you know? It looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing. So. I love the way that this looks. As long as you have an auto petter in there, your animals are taken care of. So now we can have automated feeding, automated petting, and you can go about your time focusing on farming and other tasks, building relationships and such. Oh yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope this was educational and yeah, see you next time.